guys it's sam welcome back to my channel in today's video i have a very exciting video for you guys it is the long-awaited college move-in vlog now a lot of things have happened with my college apartment that i'll tell you guys more about in the car however it's going to be a crazy day i have all my things packed and i'm going to move everything from my room downstairs to the car and i think me and my mom are taking two cars i'm not positive though so i guess we'll see how that whole situation goes but with all that being said i think i talked enough and i know you guys are excited for this video so let's just get right into it be sure to enter my giveaway give the video a huge thumbs up leave me a comment down below and subscribe to join the family and with all that being said let's get into it quick outfit of the day i'm wearing this tank top from princess polly these jeans from princess polly and i'm going to wear air forces with them so this is currently the situation in my room i have all of my bags and bins that have to go to college and then i also have like my suitcases and all of that stuff so i have to move all of this to my downstairs and then outside. I'm exhausted. Okay, so I don't know how I forgot to tell you guys this, but New Jersey is actually in the middle of getting like a side effect of a hurricane. So it's absolutely pouring and move-in is going to be interesting because it's raining and I'm trying to film. I feel like everything is just going great. I am literally sweating from just walking down my stairs. I don't know if this was a cute outfit, but you know, I wanted to look good for college move-in and now I'm literally just sweating. But that is the situation. It's pouring outside, so I'm going to try my best to get footage of me putting everything in the car. However, if it's a little blurry or if my camera gets damaged, that's why. So with all that being said, let's continue. Okay, long story short, water got into the speaker, so I'm really hoping you guys can hear me, but I will not be filming outside anymore, and obviously you guys know why. But right now I'm going to tell you guys about what happened with my apartment. I am just going to read the messages because I feel like this just cannot be made up, and my whole entire week has been like, wow, I can't believe this is happening, but it's okay, it's just really upsetting. As you guys know, I am living off campus at Seton Hall University through an apartment that is owned by Seton Hall, and I'm living with two other people, my best friend, and our friend Jess and Jess is an RA on campus so Jess got to move in early or so we thought however on August 15th my dad's birthday we get a text saying hi guys so some things have developed there was a person living in our apartment that wasn't supposed to be there so the cleaning company has to come tomorrow and I'll most likely be moving in on Tuesday or Wednesday that was August 15th so I was like okay not the best situation but not the worst situation at least they're handling it then we get a text saying some more things have developed so Jess writes hi guys I wanted to update you yesterday I went to move in and the apartment was really bad it smelled like a lot of smoke and the walls were absolutely disgusting and there's like all pictures I'm not sure if you guys can see but it was like really really bad I don't know if you guys can see it was really really gross so we're waiting for them to come and fix the walls and actually clean the apartment so with all that being said we obviously can't move into that apartment so this guy named Glenn called us and was like okay so this is what we're going to do I know you guys are moving in but the apartment isn't ready so we're going to move you to a four person suite for three days so we're literally moving in to a different suite for four days or three days and then moving out of that suite to move into our apartment once it's ready however it's annoying because obviously I can't like unpack unpack I just have to go drop my stuff off and then come home which is kind of annoying I was gonna come home anyway to see my friends and stuff like that because they're going to school soon but I would have liked to get my dorm set up and everything like that before school starts but that's the whole situation there so we're going to be moving into a a different apartment only to move out of that apartment and move into our regular apartment in three days so today I'm basically just moving all my stuff in so it's in the building and then in three days I have to move it to my actual apartment and set up my dorm there they said that we can sleep in the apartment that we're gonna stay in for the few days that we're gonna stay in it for but I just feel like it's not worth it because I'm going to have to unpack just to repack to unpack again so I'm just gonna come home and stuff like that but this will still be a cool vlog I'll still vlog the whole process and everything like that I just thought that was crazy that this is happening but I wanted to update you guys and let you guys know why I won't be like building a bed but with all that being said let's continue packing the car also last thing I'm literally profusely sweating so 
if I sound out of breath, it is 100% because I am out of breath. drive to campus and we got lost we couldn't find Terrell so we're still looking for Terrell we came to campus because I wanted to come to get my friend a sweatshirt as like a going away present because she's going to school actually my two friends but the bookstore is closed so we're having just a great day we are still looking for Terrell I will keep you guys updated on what happens and how the apartment situation goes we asked the lady at the front where to go and she gave us this map and me and my mom cannot figure out where to go we're like here okay we're like here and we need to get like over yeah. here somewhere so i'll uh, keep left. you up <laughs> it was actually the easiest thing ever we literally drove <laughs> two seconds <laughs> for two miles <laughs> like 500 feet we found it but now we can't find the parking lot so i'll keep you updated and if anyone knows geography please let me know because me and my mom were looking at the map like this like this like this and it didn't help at all okay we got here we are going to start the move-in process me and my mom are well actually i'm gonna go in the building and see how to get my key and everything because i've never done this before and then hopefully we can move in with no problems even though there's already like 10 overlaying problems guys we're not doing good no one is at the front desk it's literally just me myself and i and i don't know where to go okay i awkwardly waited here alone for like 30 minutes only to realize that i was supposed to call the phone number on the door that says please call this number you're moving in so thankfully a guard came and asked me what I was doing and then he told me to call the number that is just your sign to always read the signs in front of you because you know you're supposed to but I never do so I'm waiting for the girl to get me my key to our first apartment and then she said they'll give us the second key to our real apartment in a few days so I'm waiting for her and then we're actually going to move in <laughs> We're in the smallest elevator ever and ever. it's not going well. We couldn't find the elevator. We found it. Oh. But this isn't going to be the place that you're going to be living. Nope. Why can't I open the door? Well, we can't get the door to open. <laughs> cool. the <laughs> RA and ask her how to open a door. So I think they gave us the wrong key, but this is my real apartment that we are going to be staying in. As you guys can see, the walls are like very dirty and they have to clean all of that. But I think we can make it work once it's actually not dirty. Let me give you a little tour. So as you can see, the room is very dirty. This is my friend's room. She is an RA and she's gonna be staying in here. And then over here we have, I don't even know, I've never been in here. Over here we have a bathroom. Again, very dirty, but it's okay then this is mine and my friend's room so this is what it looks like we have to rearrange all the furniture obviously but this is what it looks like i really don't know what this is on the wall but that is disgusting so they have to clean that then we have our kitchen over here so honestly we can make it work it's just it needs to be cleaned and everything like that and we have a little window but this isn't the apartment i'm staying in right now so we're gonna go try to figure out that situation so we finally got in this is the apartment i'm supposed to be staying in until they fix the other one so as you guys can see this is so much bigger they have closet space they have drawers they have two beds they have a desk another closet and like a walk-in closet I really wish we were staying in this room because it's very nice then coming over here we have a bathroom my mom's calling housing to complain then we have our kitchen which is a lot nicer and it's just like cleaner and everything like that and then we have this area please ignore the mess this is just move-in process and then over here we have the RA's room very big very spacious and there's another bed as well so it's very big as you guys can tell but this is not where we're going to be staying unfortunately but it's okay it's just annoying that we can't move into our actual apartment and get it situated also housing came and or the RA came and she literally got in the first try 
inside with the key so i'm not really sure why we couldn't get in i don't know why we couldn't do it i tried it my mom tried it we just couldn't get in but we're in now and we figured it out so that situation is solved so i'm going to store everything in this room for now and just put my stuff over here and then when we get back my friend is going to put her stuff over here and then we're just going to move into our other apartment once we actually could start living here but i don't know this is the situation right now i guess we figured out how to unlock the door but now we can't lock the door so Here is the move-in update going pretty well but everything is all wet from the rain so I have to use paper towels to like clean it off so it doesn't smell like rain in here. moving everything in I think I just did a full orange theory workout okay so we finally have everything all moved in I have all my stuff over here and then these are clothes for my friend and she's gonna put her stuff over here or in the living room honestly I don't know exactly when we're moving out of this place but I'll definitely make another vlog about that but we're finally all moved in and have all my stuff here any words for how our move-in went oh I thought we <laughs> So move-in day was a little hectic, a little crazy in the rain. <laughs> it was crazy. It was in the rain in this hurricane, but uh, we're sweating. It's It was successful. So my situation right now is this is all my stuff. And my situation is my roommate has a lot of stuff, so it's just making me feel like I forgot so many things. I'm going to go to my other apartment right now and see how much storage I have so I can decide if I could bring more clothes or if I'm going to have to go from home to my apartment, from home to my apartment. So that's what we're going to do, and then we're going to grab some lunch. Please ignore the way I look I am sweating like legit sweating we figured out how to lock the door we're going to the other apartment now it's open right yeah for storage I don't know like I have these drawers yeah but okay so there's kind of space we have these I just feel like it's not a lot of space do you think I could fit all my stuff in here well, you don't have to take everything. Me and my mom decided that we are going to rearrange me and Leah's room right now. Leah is my best friend and my roommate. So we're going to rearrange our room to try and figure out how to do everything because it's stressing me out. Our plan is to obviously separate these two beds and to leave one on the window and one over here. So that's what me and my mom are going to try to do and we'll see how it goes. Remember how you said this was going to be easy? Yeah. Is it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we can't get the desk out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone doesn't know, I'm referencing friends. I am in the car now with my mom, and we are going to get some lunch. It's around 1 o'clock, and we left the apartment. We called housing because we didn't realize how bad the apartment that we're actually staying in is. I knew it was bad, but I didn't realize it was that bad, so I wanted my mom to say something. I know my other two friends' mom said something as well, and now we are going to go get lunch. I am hoping to get this video posted tomorrow, and then once I actually decorate my dorm, I'll do a video about that and then a video about my dorm tour and everything like that. So with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, enter my giveaway if you want to, and leave me a comment down below letting me know if you liked this video. With all that being said, thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you in my next video sometime really soon. Bye guys.